Hey, my name is Sandler DeVries, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a keyword layout or interface on Lemur. So this can either be done uh, in the Lemur editor, or you can also make this in uh, the Lemur 4 iPad app, which now allows you to create your own interfaces within the uh, the app. So, but I'll sh I'll be showing you this in the Lemur editor. So a keyboard uh, interface is very simple in that it only really is a few different buttons. Um, so we're going to be using the pads button. So there's two ways of really creating a sort of piano-esque interface on, uh, the, on the lemur editor. The easy and simple way to do this is to uh, drag just one pad object onto the lemur editor, onto the interface, and then next to columns we're going to type in a number such as 12 then we can drag these over and then here are your 12 different buttons so while holding E I can play around with the interface so you can see that uh, this allows me to play different buttons I'll have to make sure that the message is set to note on instead of control change because note on is the same type of message as any MIDI keyboard would send and for the pitch we could do for example middle C is the 60th MIDI note so this will be from middle C to a uh, high C or the, the C just above middle C the only problem is that this now creates semi semitone steps and this does not look the same as a keyboard or a, a real piano so this would now be a C, C sharp, D D sharp, E etc so the nice thing is that it this allows for um, single touch sliding basically. The downside is that there's no way to actually tell this to skip the C sharp and the D sharp and, and create those separately. So if you wanted an interface that looked really like a piano what we're going to be doing is reverting this back to one, oh, one. and we're going to have to make all these buttons manually. So I'm going to do copy, paste put this next to it, that one, etc. The nice thing about this is that it has a snap feature so they automatically get placed right next to each other. The iPad app does have a snap feature as well I believe but I don't think it's as uh, strong or as powerful as this one so it's you still have to really make sure that you have a very accurate um, sense. So now for the um, black keys I'm just going to be literally putting these in the middle and making them slightly smaller to make it look like one of the black keys on a keyboard. I'm going to copy paste right here. So it automatically snaps to the top of uh, all the other objects and I'm just using this dot in the middle um, and lining that up with the line between the two keys to make sure that it's in the center. Okay, so now by holding shift we can select several objects at the same time, change the color t of these to black, and then we can just drag a box around these to select the bottom keys and have them stay as gray if you want or have them more, uh, change them to a different color. Uh, unfortunately they don't really do a white, and this is as, w as white as it gets. <laughs> at least in the lemur editor remember that uh, the lemur 4 app now actually allows you to change the color schemes or the 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 format schemes of the colors now so so the if you choose the color to be white it may actually look more white than this but i'll i'll just do a, a blue for now now this is the i suppose the most painful part you need to make sure that all the pitches are set to the right notes so make sure that's set to message, note on, pitch 60, then this is pitch 61, pitch 62, pitch 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, etc. So and then here you, here's your keyboard layout. 
The main downside to this is that it does not allow you to do slides, unlike the other interface that I showed you earlier. But this does allow for uh, the actual keyboard look. So this is a nicer way of having students figure out keys. And the nice way, uh, the nice thing about this as well is, for example, if you know that your lesson uh, or song or whatever you're going to be using this for is going to be in a certain key, for example, in the key of C, you can then cho change the color for just those keys that are relevant, just those notes which are relevant to that key. So for example, I'm going to have the fifth be a slightly lighter color, then the major third is going to be like a yellow, the minor third is going to be like a sort of pink, purple, etc. So this is now sort of color coding the keys, so, the play so it is now more likely for the player to choose notes which are relevant to the key that everyone's playing is, which is always useful for having a player who may not necessarily understand their music theory that well. And then here's an octave, so we'll change that to the same color. Um, and if we want to make sure these two dark blues are slightly different, so what we can do is if I choose that I like this red color, I can then drag this over here in this box, and then it beca it's stored in my preset. So all I have to do um, is click on the color and then choose it and it's exactly the same one. 